everybody, it's Ken Haas here coming to you from the Circle I Ranch and I hold in my hands the brand new Reverend Guitars Ron Ashton Tribute Jetstream Guitar, a signature model of sorts. And uh, as you can hear, this thing just crushes through this mighty Rolla 100 watt Bob Balch KT66 powered high gain amplifier. Ron Ashton. Let's talk about the history just a little bit. So Ron started working with Reverend founder Joe Naylor uh, back in the mid to early, early to mid 90s uh, when Joe was doing Naylor amplifiers. And Ronnie had a Super Drive 60 that he played in his band Destroy All Monsters, uh, which was amazing. Uh, one of Joe's first real big name um, endorser guys. And uh, Ron loved that amp and he loved it so much that when Joe started doing Reverend guitars and got the patent for the original Reverend body design, Ronnie was one of the first guys on board. And uh, we actually have Ron's, one of Ron's original Reverend guitars here, which was uh, given to us by his sister. Um, and then, so as Joe and Ron started hanging out together and Joe started developing the uh, new line of guitars, uh, they came up with some ideas, and Ron was really Ron was known for this sort of high gain buzzsaw attack, right? And even um, he and he was known for pay, playing three single coil guitars, uh, which was part of that 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 really fuzzy, really bright tone that he got on those early Stooges records. And Joe, of course, uh, most of the guitars that we were designing had a significant mid-range and significant lower mids. And for Ronnie to really effectively mimic the tones that he got in the 60s, he needed to sort of uh, thin out some of that bottom end. And so Naylor developed Reverend's bass contour control around Ashton's playing. So that Ron, so if you take this P90 guitar, you take a single coil guitar, um, and you pump a lot of high gain, and you're gonna get the buzz, that's fine. Um, with the Karina body, and the P90s, you still get a very thick tone, as you heard what I was playing in the beginning. Which is a great sound. Now you can take that high gain tone and roll the bass contour out and get a more traditional, thinner single coil sound. And as you can hear, it's still very, very musical, and it does the Ashton thing. So that bass contour makes it an incredibly versatile guitar. This Rolla amp is really, really nice in the in the history of of. 70s Marshall stuff and that it's very sensitive to the volume control. So um, there's great clean sounds to be had in this. Of course, they're noise canceling in positions two and four because the middle uh, Reverend, um, what do we call these, LG? We call these HA, nine, nine, we call these 9A5 pickups. Little gal, always here, always helping. Uh, the 9A5 pickups clean up very, very nice. and. Um, just by rolling off the volume, bass contour control still up, the bridge and middle pickup on. Roll the bass contour out a little bit. Let's go to the neck pickup, same thing. Volume on about, I don't know, what would be about three. Roll out the bass. And let's go full bore on that neck pickup. Back to the bridge. The 
Reverend Guitars tribute, Ron Ashton, Jetstream 390. So Ron had, uh, before we launched his signature volcano, he had a um, he had a Charger 290, which is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, and he had the Jetstream 390, which he toured with on the Stooges reunion tours, uh, which was one of the guitars that was actually lifted in Montreal, so it is out there, but we have a lot of beautiful pictures of Ron playing it. Those pictures came to us via Kathleen Ashton, Ron's sister, uh, a, an absolutely lovely person and a very good friend of uh, Reverend Guitars as a company. And um, she runs the Ron Ashton Foundation. And so the artist proceeds of all of the Ashton guitars go to the Ron Ashton Foundation, which supports uh, music education and the Humane Society up in Washtenaw County, up in Ann Arbor, where Ronnie's from. And uh, Reverend is proud and honored to still be involved with the Ashton Foundation. And so uh, thank you very much, Kathleen, for letting us do this. And uh, I hope you guys dig this thing as much as I do. It's just an awesome guitar. So thanks for tuning in to the Circle R today, everybody. Y'all have a good one.